Hey guys, it's Jake Haber from Eternal Revolution. I'm here to show you how to make another basic intro in uh, Adobe After Effects 7.0 and CS3. And um, I did tell you how to take how to get After Effects 7.0 and CS3 in my previous tutorials. So if you go back and uh, go watch those, just click the description and click the link and download them, and you're set. Um, now today we're going to be making something like this. Really basic, but pretty good. So let's go ahead and uh, make a new composition. Let's keep the settings. Let's go to your comp. And keep those settings. Keep these settings. Up. Well, name. Let's say this is five seconds. Click OK. Click the text tool and type the text. I'm going to type in. JK. JK. And I want to center this a little better. So bring up the title I can say. That's pretty centered. So. Now let's go into our text options. Let's go to animate. We're going to add a scale and we're going to add opacity and a blur. So you should have these three. Um, animations right here. So let's go make our let's put the settings in, let's put the scale to about 350. The opacity we're gonna put that to zero and blur to one hundred. Now you can put the opacity to about fifteen percent while you're working with the other animations and offsetting it and doing all that. But you want to make sure to put the opacity to zero when you're making your masks and your effects. So now we're going to the more options path and uh go to the group and alignment, change that to negative 50. And the reason why we want to change that to negative 50 is so we it's not so crumbled in together. It can separate out a, a little bit. And uh, if we change, let's increase that to about 15. And if we change the anchor point grouping to a line, it spreads it out. So if we see, you can kind of see it spread out a little bit. So that's pretty good. Now, but that's zero. And we're going to offset this now. So let's go to the range selector. And we're going to offset it. Or animate it. Whatever you want to call it. Let's put that to zero. OK. So first, we're going to click the stopwatch. Change that to positive 100. And go to about a second, two seconds. Second and a half, two seconds, and change that to negative 100. And you should have this animating out and back in. No pain. And in order to change that, we're going to, to go into the range selector's advanced options. And we're going to go to shape and change that to a ramp down so it comes in from the right, slowing in like that. But as you see, it's like all in one motion, it's pretty fast. and it kind of separates on top of each other when it comes in. And so to fix that, we're going to go to the ease low, change that to uh, positive 90. Okay. So that's what, that's what you want. Um, now, let's go ahead and clean this up. Let's go add, make sure you can see your text, and go to your new layer. Make a new solid, and we're gonna change this, that solid color to kind of a light dark, kind of a dark blue. So let's click OK. Now, now go to layer again, new, and change, get a new solid again. But this time we're, we're gonna make it a black solid. So OK. Now make sure you have the elliptical mask tool. If you don't, just hold it and clip it. And now you're gonna want to double click the, the elliptical mask tool on the. Uh, black layer. So now what you want to do is you're going to want to, oops, sorry, you want to click the dark, the highlight the black layer and click M on the keyboard, double click the tab of the mask and you should have the feathering options. Feather that out and make sure you click subtract. So, just put, it, just put your settings in.
pretty good. Okay. So, now to, uh, to make a new layer, new solid. Now, this solid's going to be for our lens flare effect. So, you can just keep this uh, black sort of thing. And change this. It's pretty good. So, this black solid that I just made. That's going to be our lens flare, and you can change the name by by highlighting and pressing enter on the keyboard. So this this is going to be the mask. Well, this is the mask. This is background. So that's that's looking pretty good. Um, so in, in order to see all this, put the text on top. See, it's looking like that already. Okay. Move it out. Looks really good. Okay. That's what you should have so far. Now, you want to go to your lens play layer. Put a effect. Generate. Effect generate, and you're going to go to lens player. Now, let's put the operator all the way to the left. Change the lens type to 105. And on the layer, change that to screen. So now what you want to do is you want to hold. Go out first, let's go to the text layer, click view on the keyboard, and then click once layer again so you can see our keyframes that we made. And I'm going to go to click the flare center. Hold shift. Like this over here. Then hold shift. And bring it. Okay, and the reason why we did that was so we can stay on the correct axis. So now we can put the lens flare on top and it's pretty slow. There it is. Like that. That's it. Um, thanks for watching, and please subscribe, rate, and and, uh, and comment this video. And I hope that this that comes helpful. And um, uh, thanks.